Hi, my name is Chester Nebraska, and I'm a windsurfer. This short movie is about our addiction and love for the sport of windsurfing. Heck, it's about life. So what is it that makes yourself and myself so addicted to the sport of windsurfing? You know, for me it's all about the wind because you know, it gets in, it gets into your system to where that's the priority. You you uh, you forget about birthdays, anniversaries, holidays. Those are all important. Don't get me wrong. But as long as the wind's not blowing, because if the wind's blowing, those get put on the back shelf. And so it's all about. Uh, for me, it's all about you know getting being empowered by the wind. You leave no carbon footprint. There's no fumes. You know, it's just uh, it's just you and the elements, and, uh, and that's the addicting. And for myself, you know, it being out there in the moment. Oh yeah. You you catch you catch that nice jump or you get that burst of speed as you're carving on out in the, in there and everything you have at work and everything you can just dump off and by the end of the session you're just like I have a better outlook on life. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, you know, people have different ways to, to unwind, and some of them are not so healthy, you know, like drinking and whatever mm -hmm. else is going on. So, yeah, this is probably the, the best, uh, the most healthy thing you can do for yourself. I mean, it really is. You know, just today I came out, I did a session in about an hour and 45 minutes, took off of work early, and not a care in the world now. You get that goofy look on your face, the smile, yeah. the buzz, you know, you get, kind of get the buzz and the, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just an all-encompassing event. And the other thing about it, the, the sport itself is challenging for a lifetime. Oh, yeah. I feel sometimes I'm just scratching the surface, and I've been doing it over 20 years now, and there's always stuff that people can learn. And it's the same way with me. I've been sailing since. 93 and I not until we met in 2002 did I really get upgraded the gear and finally really improved on myself because there was nobody else I had to learn it on my own yeah and that's the hard part I mean because you know with, with proper instruction or somebody with, that knows what they're doing they can help you along but when you do it by yourself you literally got to figure it out by yourself so you get a little bit behind the other people that have had the advantage of, you know, having instructors or surrounded by people that, you know, care about what they're doing as far as windsurfing is concerned. But uh, it's all the same, man. The stilt never ends. It's always good. Yeah, it never gets tired. It's, it's living that moment. Yeah, being in that moment because the same moment's not going to be there at the very next one. I know, and the cool thing is that you're always chasing that moment. You're always remembering what your last session was like. You're like, man, that was a pretty good session. And you get you get to that point where you can drop your hands, everything is balanced, your rig, you can drop your hands off for a couple of seconds. Like, ah. Yep. When I feel the pull of the harness, I feel the board accelerate. That, I'm in my moment right there. That, to me, that's, it doesn't get any better than that because that's where, that's where it's at. You, know, you, you feel that good, familiar tug and then the board starts to accelerate. Yeah, then it's, yeah, you just get pointed downwind and whoop, yep. off it goes. Then you hook in, hang on, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and you just have a smile on your face. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. The sessions afterwards are good too because when everybody sits on the beach and you know drinking their, 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 their beverage of choice and, and you know rehashing the session and you know someone says, oh, I saw you jump or I know the nice turn you made. It's all cool. It's good stuff. And there was always that camaraderie, even out there on the water. We're always chasing after each other, playing follow the leader. Yep. You're always testing. It's always a it's always a test. And each time you go out, you either wanna you wanna turn smoother, go faster, jump higher. You know, so there's always, always, always challenges. And like I said, I, I've done some crazy stuff and, and had a ball doing it, but nothing's got under my skin as much as winter. Oh yeah. I mean, they're just so. Uh, I don't know, and for someone who hasn't done hasn't done it, it it's hard to put into words. It's hard to, I don't know, it's hard to uh, for them to understand 
you know, what it's all about. Because they, they, people that don't do it look at you and go, oh, I, I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know. They have no idea, you know. Not until you actually get them out. And, of course, learning, you're always going to fall off. Yeah. And you're the guy that's helping you, as in myself or yourself, that's instructing somebody new, you're always going to be... But then we always realize, too, I was in your shoes. Oh, everybody everybody has been in that same situation. You know, when I first learned, I, I didn't have anybody teaching me, and my brother had some equipment, and I'd be far from shore, and I couldn't turn, and when I did turn, I'd fall in. I could never get back up. Long board, uh, skinny boards, mm -hmm. and I could never get back, and they'd be on the beach going, I don't know what they're saying. And I'd swim it back in, and they're saying, we're telling you to up haul. You, you, you almost had it. And I'm like, what? I can't hear that. And the whole time, I'm going downwind, and it's a longer walk each time. And so I guess for me, my, 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 my brother was doing it, my dad was doing it, and I said, man, if, if they're going to do it, i got to be able to do it. So I stayed with it, and I just kept doing it. And I'm glad I did, because now it's, it's as natural as breathing, natural as walking, natural as just, you know, living. You know, it's nice. Yeah. yeah, and just being in that moment of going out, getting whatever ride, even when you're getting major chop and stuff, you're trying to go through with a little bit of gear that's not totally appropriate, but you're challenging yourself in order to get oh, yeah. out there. Yeah. That's the old adage, you know, you, you run what you brung. You might show up at the beach and it's different conditions than what you plan for or different conditions than what you have the, the equipment for, but you just get out and go, man. Make it work. That's yep. the key. Make it work. That's all that matters. And then, yeah. Right on, bro. <laughs> right on. Yeah. It's the stove. Oh. Ready to stove. <laughs> <laughs>